It's always been more than a highlight show. It truly is a football night tradition. In now our 40th season, we bring you the best of Minnesota high school football. True Stone Financial presents the CARE 11 Prep Sports Extra. Now, here's your host, Randy Shaver. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us. It's week four of the high school football season in Minnesota. We've got a great spotlight game, but I've got a crazy stat to throw at you tonight. Ricori shut out number one ranked Hutchinson in football in Class 4A tonight. The final score was 11 to nothing. It is the first time that Hutchinson has been shut out either home or away since 1974. Hutch's first loss of the year tonight. Let's go to our spotlight game in 6A. Third ranked Shakopee, number one EP. Here we go. <music> Opening possession for Shakopee and White. Bradley Hansen takes it in and they lead the number one team in the state 7-0. Still 7-0, fourth and 10 for the Eagles. Josh Kelly, little razzle dazzle to Lucas Ratkovich. Touchdown Eden Prairie. It's 7-7, Sabres play action. Leighton Kearns picked off. Max Kukla with the interception stops the Sabre drive. Eagles cash in on the turnover. Liam Burnt short touchdown run, 14-7 EP. Back comes Shakopee, under three minutes to go in the half. Zach Doctor will, will get by the defense, get into the end zone, ties the game at 14-all. 35 seconds left in the first half. Burnt will score again, almost the same play as before. 21-14 EP at halftime. Watch Will Sather, the center, the preseason all-metro center, create the gap right there, and away goes the touchdown run by David Ivey. 28-14 Eagles, then Kearns to a wide open Ben Holte. Off his fingertips. Wow, ends a drive. Ivy refuses to go down. Watch this run. Down to the Sabre, eight yard line. Look at him go. It sets up a short touchdown run by Jeremy Fredericks. Eden Prairie wins tonight to remain undefeated in 6A. 42-28 was the final. Another big score tonight. Minnetonka is unbeaten still, and they go to Shakopee next Friday. They beat Prior Lake 17-16. Watch this interception. Malachi Bodie with the pick right there. Almost should have taken it to the house, but he fell down. Lucas Knox with a one-yard touchdown run, and the Skippers are in front 7-0. A little bit later, their star quarterback, Milos Spasovich. A six-yard TD run for Minnetonka, and they're 4-0 going into Shakopee next week. They survive 17-16. Rivalry week, seventh-rated Forest Lake at White Bear Lake. The last time they played, seven years ago, 2016. At that time, Forest Lake had lost 41 straight games, but then won that game over White Bear 20-14 to snap the losing streak. The White Bear Lake game is one that's circled on our calendar. I'm hopeful that it's circled on theirs too. We play for a big paddle. Uh, it's kind of a trophy game for us. They haven't played since I think either 2016 or 2017. Really, really fun game. We both have kids that live in kind of that area that go either to White Bear or to us. It's kind of that boundary district. And so for us to get them back on the schedule is huge. So they played for the paddle tonight. Julia Daniels was in Forest Lake to cover the rivalry renewed. Julia? Yeah, Randy, I spoke with Coach Biscow before the game started, and he was fired up for this one. He was also running around the field, making sure his guys were just as fired up as he was. It was actually White Bear Lake, though, who struck first. Rangers try for a little razzle-dazzle themselves. It does not go well. Tyler Schobel comes down with that in his Bears ball. They cash in a few plays later. One-yard run in from Robert Hipple. 7-0 visitors up, but that doesn't last too long. Hand off to Leighton Patzer. He shakes not one, but two white jerseys, and he is off 50 yards to the house. The game tied up at seven. Second quarter, Rangers marching once more. QB sneak Nolan DeMunso following a few guys in. Forest Lake keeps the paddle this go around. The final tonight, 28 to 10. And honestly, Randy, ton of students and fans showed up for both schools tonight, which is not surprising. They're not too far from each other. But I get the feeling this will be a fun rivalry for years to come. Back Absolutely. To Great. Thanks, Julia. Well, in 1995, the Anoka Tornadoes were the defending state football champion in the big class and at one time held an 18-game winning streak. They had a big fullback, 
Number 46, Corey Podani. He was a bruising junior back. See him scoring some touchdowns here. Well, Corey Podani is now the proud father of the current junior quarterback at Anoka, Peyton Podani, who happens to be among the state's leaders in passing. So has your dad shown you his highlights from high school? Yeah, yeah, he has before. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? It was impressive. He was, he was a big running back. He's definitely, definitely good. He was good, and so is the kid, too. Peyton Bodani, touchdown pass here tonight for Anoka against Maple Grove. But this game got out of hand in a hurry. Caden Harney had a big night for the Crimson. They scored 21 points in the first quarter. Harney will find Nathan Hermaka open for this touchdown pass right here. Nice move to get away from the rush. Nice catch, touchdown a little bit later. Harney again. This one's going to go to Dylan Vocal. It's going to cover 32 yards on the touchdown. Coming up right here, we hand the ball to the ref. That's a nice thing to do. Harney with a touchdown strike. It's all the defending 6A champions tonight. Maple Grove hands Anoka their first loss, 42-19. Tackle cancer night at St. Michael Albertville as they host the Centennial Cougars. And this was a hard-fought game, as you can imagine. Both teams very defensive-minded. Maverick Harper, short touchdown run for Centennial. They led 12-0 at half. They win 19-6 was the final. Let's go to 5A. The number one team is Mankato West. Tonight at home against Chaska. We'll show you that in a second. But first, Rodgers had to rally big time tonight to stay unbeaten against Spring Lake Park. It was tied at 13 in the fourth quarter with under a minute to go. Reese Dawson to the big guy. Wyatt Gilmore, 50 yards on the touch. Get out of my way, the Oklahoma recruit says, and Rodgers takes the lead. And then for good measure, Calvin Collet with a huge interception for the Royals. The scrambling quarterback, Collet picks it off, and guess what? He takes it all the way to the house. The Rodgers Royals score 13 points in under a minute and beat Spring Lake Park 26-13. Mankato West and Bart Makinich, their quarterback to the Gopher recruit, Jalen Smith. Touchdown catch against Chaska, and they win tonight. Final score was 31-7. Guess what? Mankato West is at Chanhassen next week. Brainerd Moorhead, Connor Erickson, back on the football field. The Brainerd football player injured last year at Moorhead, suffering a brain injury a season ago. Doing well now, and that's great to see. Warriors' Sean Holbrook, short touchdown run. Brainerd in a tough one tonight, stays undefeated. They beat Moorhead. Final score was 28-20. How about the track meet in Andover tonight? 63-56, the Huskies over Elk River. A couple of other scores. There's the Chan final. They survive. They host Mankato West last Friday. And St. Thomas Academy over Matamidi, 42-14. Tackle Cancer is sponsored by Minnesota Oncology. And it was Tackle Cancer Night at Matamidi High School. They always do it up big, raising lots of money for cancer research and patient aid in Minnesota. The cadets led 28-7 when we got there. Max Sims to Chase Young, down to the one-yard line for St. Thomas Academy. And they hand it off then to who else? Savion Hart, short touchdown run here. And the next possession, it's hard again to the end zone. 42-14 the final, St. Thomas Academy. They've won three in a row since losing to Andover to start the year. Armstrong over Creighton Durham Hall tonight, played at St. Thomas, University of St. Thomas. Seth Newburn takes it around the end for the short TD run. The Falcons win to remain undefeated. 41-7 was the final. Couple of outstate scores of note. Number two in 2A, Caledonia beat number five in 2A, Cannon Falls, 28 to eight. And Bram and Barnum tied in the rankings. Well, one's 2A, one's 1A. Barnum beat Bram tonight, 27-26. How about Esco? They just keep rocking and rolling. Tonight they win over Pequot Lakes. Two undefeated football teams, but you wouldn't know it by the final. Coy Parrish is the gopher recruit. He'll take it in on this touchdown run right here. Esco wins big. You see the final, 60 to nothing. St. Agnes at Holy Family tonight. William Keel, multiple defenders, gains 25 yards. 
uh, after the catch. Great play. Holy Family, however, would block a punt. It gets the ball deep in St. Agnes territory. Nice defensive play here by Dan O'Brien's crew. And then the guy who leads the state in interceptions, Dan Plamen, with the interception number seven on the year for him. St. Agnes survives and wins 33-14. We'll be right back. I'm Jadea Abasiri, defensive lineman, Prior Lake High School, and you're watching the Prep Sports Extra. Pond Highlights is sponsored by True Stone Financial. A good neighbor would give you a cup of sugar if you asked. At True Stone Financial, we don't have any sugar, but we will give you up to 350 bucks when you switch to a True Stone checking account. It's true, because we're True Stone. Get ready every day with CARE 11 Sunrise. Rise and shine, everyone. Giving you an accurate forecast. We're tracking showers moving in that could slow you down. Breaking news from overnight. Yeah, let's get right to the new video. And you're noticing. So good to meet you. I cannot wake up without turning y'all on. All together, you guys are kind of like a little family. You guys are a breath of fresh air in the morning to start the day. And that's my little routine, so think up for making it better. Every day starts with sunrise on CARE 11. Save big money with 11% off everything at Menards. Let the light into your home with a Larson Storm Door. Larson Split View Storm Doors allow for maximum natural light while providing easy ventilation. This Lakeview Split View Storm Door is $299.99 after rebate. Mastercraft makes great doors inside and out, building the highest quality doors in a wide selection of styles. Pick up this Half Moon exterior door for $284.99 after 11% off. Save big money at Menards. It's the 99 cent sale this Friday through Sunday at Hy-Vee. Get Hy-Vee large eggs, Hy-Vee peanut butter, Hy-Vee chunky soup, and more for just 99 cents during Hy-Vee's 99 cent sale this Friday through Sunday. Be a part of the Tackle Cancer Campaign with the Minnesota Football Coaches Association. Raise money for cancer research and patient aid. Look for a Tackle Cancer game in your area this fall. Tackle Cancer, sponsored by Minnesota Oncology. You do the most, so why not earn the most? With True Rate Checking from True Stone Financial, you get the most from your account. This much most, to be exact. It's true, because we're True Stone. The CARE 11 Prep Sports Extra, sponsored by True Stone Financial. They do prep sports in Palm Springs. They do prep sports in Los Angeles. They do prep sports in Seattle. And it, the genesis was you. It started with you. No one did prep sports extras back then. Probably because no one thought there was an audience for it. But boy, you certainly found one. I appreciate what uh, Paul had to say there, former anchor and friend of mine. Of course, this is the 70th anniversary of CARE this week, so my thanks to Paul. Let's finish up class. Uh, we're going to start actually with Class 6A. Eastview taking on Buffalo. Both teams came into this game with 2-1 and one records. It was tackle cancer night at Eastview High School. The Lightning always raise a lot of money for uh, cancer research and patient aid in Minnesota. Let's go to the highlights. Kyler Kelvey to Gage Olson. Nice move into the end zone, 20 yards, touchdown, 6 0 Buffalo. Kelvy will then score off of the direct snap to make it 13 0. Then Grady Guida is at quarterback. He throws a touchdown strike, and Buffalo wins tonight, 33 18. They're now 3 1 on the year. Edina, homecoming, Wyzetta, Mason West, Sonny Viegas. He's wide open, third quarter touchdown. Hornets now down 14 7. But Wyzetta comes back, Cole Heilbrunn takes it in from short yardage, and the Trojans win tonight over Edina, 24-21. The Battle of Woodbury, Eastridge and Woodbury, Isaiah Tisdale, four short touchdown runs, and the Royals win tonight over their arch rival from across the way. Final score was 27-18. Burnsville beat Hopkins tonight, 41-20 the final, also in 6A. Blaine over Osseo, 48-7. Stillwater, big come from behind win over Moundsview tonight, 21-17. How about Coon Rapids over Champlin Park, 41-34. And Park knocked off, knocked off Roseville. 
Hot Highlights is sponsored by True Stone Financial. We have our Hot Highlights winner for this week. Thanks to your voting on care11.com all week. Almost unanimous. The winner with 95% of the vote. It's Rodgers running back Calvin Isle. Here is the winning play on the first carry of the game against Irondale last Thursday. Calvin, 287 yards, five touchdowns in that game. Rodgers High School will receive $2,500 for from True Stone Financial. Congratulations to Calvin. All right, rivalry renewed at Benilde St. Margaret's. Totino Grace and the Red Knights. Nirvan Yogaraja to Khalil Brown. And the Red Knights take the lead on Totino Grace, the seventh rated team in 4A. But back come the Eagles, Will Brands, touchdown strike to Wagner, nice catch. And then Totino Grace goes on to win. Final score, 35-19. De La Salle at Minneapolis North. Nice run here by Jamarian Sanders. 40 yards on the touchdown run for the Polars to put them ahead seven to nothing. De La Salle's defense trying to keep them in the ball game early on. They'll get an interception for a touchdown in the end zone. Coming up right here, if we can see it, maybe we're not gonna see it. Anyway, North ends up winning the game big. The final score was 52 to nothing. The rest of the scores in the Skyway. There's the upset I talked about. The first time Hutch has been shut out since 1974. Litchfield beat New London Spicer. 48-21 was the final. Also tonight in the Skyway, Mound survives over Providence Academy. They'll play Orono next week. Both those teams are undefeated. Orono beat Delano 42-21. Becker now will be the new number one team in 4A after Hutch's loss. And guess what? They host Hutch next week. 45-14 the final. Princeton remains undefeated. They knocked off Zimmerman. 48 to nothing was the final. Byron over Austin. Columbia Heights beat Twin Cities Charter. 35 to nothing. Other scores in the Skyway. Chisago Lakes remains undefeated. 61-46 final. Breck at home over Concordia Academy. 21-10 the score. Also, it's Dasso Cocado, big win over Glencoe Silver Lake. There's the Holy Family final. St. Agnes remains undefeated, 33-14. St. Croix Lutheran wins at Winona tonight, 22-21. Watertown Mayor knocked off Spectrum, 40-6 was the final. A few other scores, Foley over Apollo. Richfield knocks off Roosevelt, 40-14. Annandale, 48-7. And Fridley over St. Anthony. We'll be right back. I'm Maxwell Woods, running back out of Chan Addison High School, and you are watching the Prep Sports Extra. There are natural savers, and then there's the rest of us. So at True Stone Financial, we're giving you a little extra incentive, the High Yield Special on Savings Certificates. Yeah, it's nuts, but it's true, because we're True Stone. The CARE 11 weather warn day signals a change coming for your weather. Big hail, downpours, and flooding over the last few hours. Because severe storms strike fast, the weather warn symbol lets you know when to be prepared. Today's weather warn day certainly has been verified by what we're seeing on the radar right now. Think of it as alert that keeps you and your family safe during difficult weather. So when the next storm is heading your way, you'll be prepared. Be warned before the storm with CARE 11 weather warn. Be a part of the Tackle Cancer Campaign with the Minnesota Football Coaches Association. Raise money for cancer research and patient aid. Look for a Tackle Cancer game in your area this fall. Tackle Cancer, sponsored by Minnesota Oncology. Don't miss the 99 cent sale this Friday through Sunday at hy -Vee. Get fresh whole chicken, just 99 cents a pound. hy -Vee canned corn or green beans, three for 99 cents. And hy -Vee cottage cheese, just 99 cents, only at hy -Vee. Save 11% and all roof coatings at Menards. Sealbest White Elastomeric Roof Coating has a 10-year warranty, restores your roof, and stops leaks. It's easy to apply. Just brush, roll, or spray. Get a pail for just $79.99 after rebate. We've got the adhesives you can rely on. Loctite Power Grab Adhesive is high strength and reduces the need for clamping with zero-second instant grab. Right now, it's only $2.99 after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. neighbor would give you a cup of sugar if you asked. At True Stone Financial, 
We don't have any sugar, but we will give you up to 350 bucks when you switch to a Truestone checking account. It's true, because we're Truestone. The CARE 11 Prep Sports Extra, sponsored by Truestone Financial. You know, our goal is to make our kids feel like this is the big time because for some kids, this is the last football that they'll play. And so having you guys put as much time as you do into high school football, it makes our kids feel like, man, I'm on TV. This, this is the big time. My thanks to Aaron Moberg, the head football coach at Moundsview. Let's go back to the highlights. Apple Valley tonight taking on Tartan in 5A. Jackson Thornburg to Noah Mergerson, 35 yards on the touchdown strike, and the Eagles are on their way. Tyler Ward is the defensive back. Nice interception here against Tartan. Off the scramble by the quarterback, and that would set up a short touchdown run by Will Washington. Wow, what a tackle there. Will Washington, who's heading to NDSU on scholarship, takes it in for the short score. Apple Valley wins big, 54 to five. Central against Johnson, Ali Farfan to Moody Justice. Johnson actually led this game 13 to nothing early on. But back come the Minutemen, Allen Lankford keeps the ball. The quarterback, 15 yards up the middle on the scramble. Touchdown cuts it to 13 to six. Lankford then goes to work, throws a 10 yard TD pass to Caden Thiers. And it's Johnson falling to Central, 43-35. How about the high-step touchdown by Henry Novak and New Prague tonight against Rochester Century. Takes it in for the score, and New Prague wins tonight. We check out the North Star District, and here are the scores. St. Francis falls to Sauk Rapids Rice, 16-7 the final. There's the Apple Valley score over Tartan. Washburn wins, 7-0. Two Rivers over Kennedy, 33-0. 13. Park Center losing tonight to Cambridge Isani. Owatonna knocked off Northfield 26 21. Monticello in a one point win over Irondale. Alexandria remains undefeated. They knocked off Sartell 41 6 was the final. And one other score Bemidji over St. Cloud Tech 43 35. And there you see the Central Johnson final. Last night in New Hope, Cooper beat St. Louis Park behind their quarterback Cameron Fox. Watch the scramble, then finds Emmanuel Carmo for the touchdown. Cooper with a win, 41-3 was the final. And we'll be right back. Hi, I'm Simon Seidel, cornerback at Hill Murray High School, and you're watching Prep Sports Extra. You do the most. So why not earn the most? With True Rate Checking from Truestone Financial, you get the most from your account. This much most, to be exact. It's true, because we're Truestone. Be a part of the Tackle Cancer Campaign with the Minnesota Football Coaches Association. Raise money for cancer research and patient aid. Look for a Tackle Cancer game in your area this fall. Tackle Cancer, sponsored by Minnesota Oncology. Walk, run, and have fun. The Medtronic Twin Cities Marathon Weekend is full of events for all ages and paces. Don't forget, kids 18 and under now run free. Perfect for the CARE 11 Family Mile. Go to care11.com slash community to register today. Save 11% on everything, only at Menards. Help prevent costly repairs with Shell products. Rotella Heavy Duty Diesel Motor Oil offers triple protection. It controls wear, deposits, and emissions. Pick up a gallon for $14.99 after rebate. It's time to get organized with Menards. From garage organization to tool chests and cabinets, Masterforce has all the heavy duty storage solutions you need. Get this 41 inch tool chest and cabinet combo for $1,099.98 after 11% off today. Save big money at Menards. There are natural savers. And then there's the rest of us. So at Truestone Financial, we're giving you a little extra incentive. The High Yield Special on Savings Certificates. Yeah, it's nuts, but it's true, because we're Truestone. Let's run through some scores tonight. Rockford wins over Montevideo 27-12. Sox Center knocks off Melrose 44-6. Other finals, Howard Lake Waverly loses to Minnewaska, 18-12 the final. Purim over Little Falls, 28-14 the final score. Belgrade, Bruton El Rosso, 50-22. Detroit Lakes remains undefeated with a victory 
over Thief River Falls, 43-24. Other scores, Browerville falling to Uppsala Swanville, Kirkhoven, Murdoch Sunberg, 34-6 over West Central, United South Central, 29-0, and Norwood Young America beat Randolph tonight to remain undefeated. This is year 40 of the Prep Sports Extra. We started this football show back in September of 1984. I've been gathering thoughts from coaches past and present on what the impact of the PSE has been over the years. Backer one. 14 to seven, backer yep, one. First quarter. Uh, seven nothing. Let's uh, go! There is a, in my view. 15, quick smile for the Prep Sports Extra. There's something about football in Minnesota. That becomes a fabric of our lives. <laughs> Wherever, any corner of this state, anywhere. Yes, it's it's pretty. Uh, so you said, hey. One minute. After the ball games, after you put the kids away. Watch this catch. People would gather to watch the Randy Shaver Pred Sports actually. Get ready for some great play. <laughs> Are we good? Three, yeah. Two. Okay. Impact. <laughs> Immeasurable. Well, how about this? Matamidi tonight. Nice touchdown pass. Redding, it was tipped. From northern Minnesota, from Baudette to Caledonia, and everything in between. No, 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 no. Everybody has made it personal. It's a personal thing. Miss Randy. That people really buy into. It's not just a quick highlight. Miss Randy. Miss Randy. It's a name and an identity. Rogers, 42-14. And the community loves it, the kids love it, and the coaches love it. And a quarterback draw. Seth, hey! Thank you. Four minutes. Well, I think it's one of the things that every kid that's played high school football over the last 40 years remembers. A Friday night is not a Friday night with Prep Sports Extra. Travel. Okay. How do they not get right back to the ball? No, that's not them. No, Grab I'm telling you, it's him. Write it, hand write it, give it to me right now. Everyone runs home, they go to the safe parties. First thing they're doing, they're flipping to it. You know, they want to see your face, they want to see the highlights. That was great. That was awesome. And then, that was right in my grill. Michael Floyd from Springer. That'll make the prep show tonight. It gives kids who are putting their hearts and souls and tons of hours. Did you get him blocked? A, cr a crushing ISO block. And creating families through football. It gives them an experience where they kind of feel big time. Ryan Schmeling. 7-6 Roseville. Yee -hoo! Opening night is here. And they kind of have a moment where they feel like that pro guy. <laughs> and they feel like that college guy. We'll see you next Friday night for another edition of the Prep Sports Extra. Good night. Just like riding a bike. It's like riding a bike. They never get that again. That's, that's awesome. Great job, you guys. Yep. My thanks to all those guys who said such nice things about this show. I certainly appreciate it. Thanks for watching. We'll be back next Friday night with another edition of the Prep Sports Extra. Don't forget, Prep Previews on CARE YouTube page with Craig Norcus and myself. We talk about high school football every week. We'll see you next Friday. Good night.